For all the concern about American education, there's one place where it may be the best in the world, UCSF. Now imagine if the man credited with making it so had followed his first career choice. I heard about jet fighters, and that's what I wanted to do. And I actually uh, uh, tried to enter the Ethiopian uh, Air Force. One word comes to mind, whoo. He grew up in Ethiopia as a teenager was honored by Emperor Selassie as the country's top student. With his pick of medical schools, highly passed over Harvard and chose McGill in Canada. There he got his medical degree in surgery and found something more. It happened one night when some friends from Trinidad invited him to a party. And then across the crowded room, I saw this woman, I said, that's a very special woman. And with that, Haile married Kim, the girl from Trinidad, his first global alliance. Now the surgeon researcher began building his credentials, first in the Yukon, then British Columbia, UCLA, the University of Washington. Then UCSF came calling, aggressively. Haile soon realized why. The Department of Surgery was in serious trouble. It was in deficit. The Residents were, were uh, disillusioned. But Haile was up to the job. He restored the research training funds, found a financial manager by interviewing 52 candidates, added a liver transplantation specialty, raised federal funding from an embarrassing $800 to $5 million a year. The pay inequity between old and young faculty also needed fixing, but Everybody told me it was, it was suicide. I thought if we didn't do that, we cannot succeed. So Haile took two courses to learn pay structure and negotiation and crafted a plan that 98% of the surgical faculty approved. Or as only Haile's longtime colleague, Holly Smith, could put it. Among his other qualities, well, he was a superb uh, diplomat. Uh, diplomacy is the art of letting other people have your way. And Haile was now named Dean of the School of Medicine, a bigger challenge. An accreditation team had blasted its curriculum as a headless monster. But Haile created a new post of Vice Dean of Education, modernized the curriculum, formed an academy of top educators. His reforms won national awards. He exhibited the ability to look ahead and Pull the rest of us over the horizon. And with Haile's help, the UCSF landscape began reflecting a shift to interdisciplinary services. A comprehensive cancer center, Center for Integrative Medicine, Institutes for Global Health and AIDS Research. And oh yes, during this time he also served as chancellor for a year. That's my mother. Ten years ago, Haile planned to retire to his homeland with Kim and help build a medical center. But the dream died, and so... I said to myself, what can I do to give back? He became the face of UCSF Global Health. Here again, highly forged partnerships, but on a massive scale to build healthcare capacity worldwide. Partnering with a university in Tanzania, with 100 universities across the U.S., with the 30-country Aga Khan Development Network. At the Institute of Medicine in Washington is another of Haile's partners, President Harvey Feinberg. He has really been a one-person transformer for global health in California, at UCSF, in America, and around the world. He is proof that no road is too small to lead to greatness. All Haile DeBoss did was take to heart the words of his elementary school teacher long ago. The teacher who taught us things that you couldn't imagine being taught in elementary school. Astronomy, science, we were bewildered. And he always said, yeah, just think. Think ahead, think big. <laughs>